Alright, so there's a lot to talk about in this video. I just wanted to preface it by saying that I haven't really played on this account too much. It's been on and off for the past, I don't know how many months. So it would be like the year in review, even though it's been like two years, but I've really missed out on a lot of months. Like a year and a half, maybe. I would say maybe. So I made a six month in review. So this is sort of the continuation and hopefully you get something out of it. I'm going to go through. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the strongest teams that I have, especially those that complete the spiral abyss. And I'm going to be showing you guys some of my strongest builds. Can't show you every single one of my builds but i am going to show you a lot of them now if we are to look at what we have here this is my main team i use it in pretty much everything it is my Aito, kazaha shinkcho and jean team the team is really strong and i really could clear about anything with it and i'll just show you guys why my Aito is fully maxed out he's 90 90 um fully invested in him i even got his weapon this is all free to play the artifact set i have on him is the artifact set that is made for him and tailored for him i didn't really farm this artifact set too much just because the artifact domain isn't the greatest thing of all time especially because it doesn't really have you know the greatest other artifact set it is a really good artifact set for him specifically and i do have a singular constellation which makes him really strong actually really enough his talents are at 9 10 and 10 I do plan on getting this, you know, this talent all the way up to 10, but I don't have enough books just yet. Uh, I'm not really in a hurry to do that. Anyway, that is my Ayato. Currently, his stats look like this. 73, 190. I could get it to maybe like a 6200, but it's not really that important to me. He can clear pretty much everything. Has enough energy recharge. And of course, his hydro damage bonus is up there. This Ayato is really powerful and can clear anything in the game. And I'm really, really proud of how I built this Aito. Next up, we have Kaidahara Kazaha. Kazaha is actually a super amazing character, as we all know. And I've summoned on him on his first banner. And in the beginning, people were really unsure of how good he's going to be. But I'm really glad I did summon on him then. He's my favorite character by far. And he has so much that just makes him so much fun. Kaidahara Kazaha isn't the most optimal of all time, especially if you look at my elemental mastery. He does the job and he gets the job done. I'm using the Iron Sting. I don't really have that new cool weapon on this account, but I kind of wish that I did. His artifact set isn't the strongest, but it's not the weakest either. I do need an elemental mastery uh, piece for him here, which I will get eventually using the strong box. But for now, this is what I have. His constellations are at C0. His talents are at 8, 9, and 9. And I would definitely crown Kaidahara Kaza, but I just, I don't really want to use the resources right now. I'm trying to, you know, save up for all the other characters that I'm trying to build. Now, for what I needed to do, he's pretty good. 41, 113, 112 energy recharge, and he has some animal damage bonus. Super awesome Kazaha does what he needs to do. Now, my Shinchu is actually an interesting one. He's pretty good, at least for what I need him to do. 90, obviously. Sacrificial Sword with the Refinement Rank 4, which I'm pretty proud of. Shinchu is using the Emblem of Severed Fate set, which has, you know, the 4 piece for the Elemental Burst damage. Really good, especially because it does give me energy recharge that I need to build. This constellation is at C6. His talents are at 1, 12, and 12. Very optimal build, pretty much what I need him to do. And he doesn't have the greatest you know, crit rate crit damage ratio. Could be so much better. But it does make up for it in terms of its ultimate damage through the Emblem of Severed Fate. My Jean is 80 out of 90. I still didn't invest the bucks to make her 90 out of 90. He's 80 out of 90. He's using the Favoni Sword, which for some reason is level 80 out of 90. Uh, let's fix that real <laughs> Let's fix that real quick. I was actually unaware of that. All right, cool. 90 out of 90 now. Artifact set, two piece of Viridescent and two piece of the Gladiator. Constellation at C2, actually. I lost the Jean a lot of time. And her talents are at 2, 6, and 8. The talents for Jean aren't that important. As long as I have this at like 8, um, I pretty much full heal the entire team. And that's what I need her to do. Now, in terms of my Bennett, Bennett obviously being level 9 of 90, this Bennett is actually better than my actual main account Bennett, just for the sole reason that he has the Alley Flash. The Alley Flash is really good just to increase the bonus damage that your Bennett can give. And he gives a base attack of 620 here, which is awesome. His artifact set isn't the most optimal thing of all time, but his elemental burst damage is increased. And his two piece of crimson really need to be changed. But for now, this is what I have to deal with. I will eventually get it to a four piece no blast. 
for now, this is what I have. Constellation at C3. To be honest, I would get my Bennett to C6. Because I don't really use him in a team that uses auto attacks. So even if I did, it would be in a Tartaglia team. You know, he doesn't really use. Or it would be in a Yoimiya team. So yeah, I would get him to C6. And his talents are, talents are currently at 1, 9, and 10. I still need to get this upgraded. But I, I just can't be bothered to farm these books or use the resources on these books. But maybe eventually I'll get to do his... This is the stats. 31, 168. Not the most optimal thing of all time, but this is what I have. Energy recharge at 168, which is perfect for what I need him to do. And that's pretty much it. Tartaglia. Now, Tartaglia is a super awesome character. I love Tartaglia. He was my main on this account for the longest time. For good reason, too. Super fun. Super awesome. Weapon being the Skyward Harp. So it is kind of optimal. And the artifact set that I do use on my Tartaglia is the one tailored for him. Four piece Heart of Depth which increases his normal attack and charge attack damage by 30%. His constellations is actually a C1. So my two hydro characters that focus on normal attacks are C1. And his talents are at 8, 9, and 9. Well, this being technically 7, but it is 8, 9, and 9. Pretty good. And he does what I need him to do. He was supposed to be my first fully crowned character, but I decided against it. Now I want to go back to doing it. Because I do want to summon the Wanderer or Scaramouche on this account. So it's going to be a pretty fun time. So I definitely want to get all the Harbingers. 90-90. Talents all at 10. That is my goal. His actual details are as so. 71-177. Which I think is a pretty decent amount for Tartaglia. Energy recharge being at 104. Not really the greatest. But he has a 40. I think 40 or 60. For his elemental bears. So his uh, hydro damage bonus is at 90. Which is pretty massive actually. Now we take a look at Yoimiya. Yoimiya wasn't at the most optimal build in the past. But now she kind of is. She's 80 out of 90. I could easily make a 90 out of 90. But she doesn't really need that. Uh, her details are as so. 64, 187. 116 energy recharge. And she has got some pyro damage bonus. The Rust is at 80 out of 8. But I, th these are just so tedious to farm. That I can't be bothered. He's good enough with 80 out of 80 for this. And it is at refinement rank 4. Meaning this does an increase of normal attack damage by 70%. Absolutely massive. So that's pretty nice to have. Artifact set being the Shimano's Reminiscence. I do realize that this is the not the most optimal set for our Yoimiya. It is the set that I currently have. And maybe I will be able to use this wrong box to actually get the artifact set that I want. E0. Talents being at 9, 9, and 7. But yeah, that is my Yoimiya. I do have my Yunjin kind of leveled up, kind of not. Uh, I didn't really put artifact set on her. I removed the artifact set on her because it wasn't optimal at all, so I didn't bother. Sucrose, I do use. Um, She's got, she's kind of in most of my team. Give Sucrose the Element Master being at 290 only. Artifact set, obviously the 4 piece of Veridescent. D5, almost at that C6, and 177. Not the most strongest, not the weakest of all time, but it would be way better. Now, Rosaria, I actually really like and I actually built. Rosaria has the White Tassel at 80 out of 80. Just because I am sort of switching between these weapons right here. So, I would use this weapon instead sometimes. And it's a pretty good weapon. The thing is, with Rosaria, she has the four piece of the Blizzard Strayer. So, she can get that full amount of crit rate that she needs to give for her teammate and she's a constellation of c6 and her talents are 1 8 and 10 awesome character this is the only account that it did build rosaria she's actually pretty fun 87 85 172 does what she needs i did sort of build kujusara for a while but i didn't really have that much fun playing her so i ended up you know going against it especially because i don't have c2 which kind of sucks official sort of built sort of not uh, she, her weapon is the stringless with the artifact set of the two piece, two piece. Just any set, really. Constellation C3, 1, 10, and 4. I only use Oz anyway, so that's how she looks. And we have two more characters that I need to go through Lisa, I sort of built, sort of didn't. I only have the Black of a Gate. Artifact set being the four piece of this one, and I'd only use it for her burst, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't really have any constellations on her, but she sort of built, sort of not kind of okay i guess now xiang ling i actually did build and she doesn't have the most optimal build but she does the job 
for sure. So my Xiangling has the catch. It's only a 5 rank 3. Can't be bothered to fish in this game. It is not intuitive. So I only have it at rank 3. Artifact set being the 4 piece of the Emblem of Severed Fate set. With a constellation of C6. And my talents at 1, 10, and 12 respectively. And he is at 66, 180, 118. With an energy recharge of 244. Which is kind of overkill. But it does get the job done. I'm pretty happy about my Shangling. I still have to build, you know, Sino being a character that I summoned for and was super excited about. Getting the scarabs is so tedious and is I just can't. I, I can't seem to do it. I can't seem to farm the scarab. Eventually, I'll get there. But for now, this is what he looks like. And I do want to build Candace. I still don't have the optimal stuff for her. But this is what she looks like. Four piece, no bless. Constellation. Talent. And yeah, eventually I'll get there and I'll have Candace. That was a lot of talking to do with, you know, everything. But I do also want to show you guys the five star weapons that I have on this account. And I actually missed the Haran Kepaku Kutu. I hope I said that right. I missed this two times. So I got the Elegy of the End twice until I finally got this weapon for Aito. And that is why I have random Elegy of the End. Not really doing much <laughs> but it's there it's cool uh, i have a lot of weapons at level 90 i have some of the event weapons and uh, i should get this one up but it is what it is and i don't think i'm doing too bad for myself on this account there's a lot of stuff that i could do or could have done there's more stuff um artifact sets that i could have you know invested in more but as i said i played this for a year and then i sort of you know trickled off not playing as much i wasn't really into it that much and then Sumeria came along and I started to play a little bit more. That is my year in review of my current free-to-play, I think AR-57 still? Yep, still AR-57 account. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty strong. I did clear the Spiral Abyss at, I think, for the most part, I do clear the Spiral Abyss in one go for all 36 stars. Uh, as you guys can see, 36 stars. These two 35 stars, I didn't get because I didn't bother trying to get those. So I don't really have a tough time with the Spiral Abyss at all. And uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and get something out of it. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. What does your account look like? Is my account any good? Let me know what you guys think my account will look like in another year in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.